you guys, Chauncey Phillips here with my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. And I'm changing up this um, the shopping videos now for quite the next while in the future. Uh, I'm like so used to doing the intro one way, you know, I've done it like the same way forever, so it's thrown me off. I've done this opening like a hundred times trying to like open it right because I'm so used to doing it like a one specific way that I say everything. But um, you know, um, like I said, I'm changing everything up. But today though, the big releases that did come out today was the film on 1917, and that one has a uh, Best Buy exclusive of a steelbook release for that and I'm actually gonna have a closer look at the um, 4k steelbook at the end of this video right before the new uh, DVD blu-ray and 4k reviews uh, also though the uh, film uh, the grudge the brand new grudge you know reboot film uh, that one releases and at the end of this video is gonna be a whole bunch of brand new DVD blu-ray and 4k reviews for th some things I received to review and talk about for you guys and as always too, uh, let me know in the comments below you know what you guys thought of the DVDs blu-rays and 4ks that are reviewed if you guys have seen them what you guys thought of them and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up but like I was saying, though, things are going to be changing with these videos. Because, um, like, I never talk about it in, my, in the videos, but, like, on Tuesdays, I'm also going out and getting, like, food for everyone in the house and things that everybody needs. And I usually would go to places like Walmart, like, probably, like, um... I don't know, like two or three times a week. Now I'm going once. So basically anything that I need to get that would be in like a Walmart or a Target and places like that, I'm doing them on Tuesdays now, not going on any other days. And you know, um, so today though, the only store that I'm gonna go to is a Walmart in, in person. And I have a mask and stuff just to be safe. Uh, other than that though, um, I'm gonna show, um, you know, uh, online what Target has. And then Best Buy though, Best Buy is still open. We're drive by Best Buy because I'm in that area for food and everything but I'll show because Best Buy now at least in in my area uh, is still opened but you cannot go inside so if there's anything you want in Best Buy you have to order it and then they will bring it out to the car and I heard something about you can like knock on the door or something or call and then they'll get it and bring it out or something like that I don't know 100% how it all it all works but they are open but not for you allowed to you you know for you to go inside but anyway though uh, let's head to the first you know and only place we're gonna go in person now uh, to Walmart into Walmart we go yeah but like I said I have like this this mask to wear now and then these these weird glasses so I don't touch my eyes so I don't risk like and I'm gonna be really careful like picking up anything like that I don't need to and then I have Prell in the car I'm gonna wash my hands I've gotten a little bit like uh, not enjoying going out much honestly I'm like real I've gotten a little much more nervous lately about the whole thing but being careful though, just being careful and it's awkward going in wearing something like this, but you got to. Yeah, but like I said though, the big thing that came out today was 1917. The 4K here is 2796, uh, 2296 for the DVD Blu-ray, uh, and then 1796 for just the uh, DVD of the film. Other than that though, I don't see the grudge over here. Let me look on the side. I don't see it here. It might be on the other side though. I'll, these things here seem to be new, these like Planet Earth ones here. Like I said, I'm not trying not to pick up too much. But like these Planet Earth things here that have like exclusive limited Walmart like, exclusive covers on these ones. And Enchanted Kingdom, these ones are all like in the Planet Earth series. So these ones are kind of interesting. I definitely have never seen these ones before. And then let's see if there's anything else mixed in here that I didn't see in the weeks past. I don't believe so. It's gonna be interesting too, like if seeing if certain uh, DVD and Blu-ray releases have like delays with them, you know, because of everything that's going on. Cause I know some like um, du uh, duplication houses and stuff are closed at the moment. So it's gonna be interesting to see if like certain releases of certain things, I don't know when that would start happening though, but I feel like it might, certain things will start to get delayed. Yeah, but I'm not seeing anything else different over here. What a no, let's see, anything different TV-wise? Doesn't look like it. Let's see. We'll check on the other side over here, too. And see, I saw someone, too, a minute ago. Uh-oh. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, that's like... Over here, though. Nope, it doesn't look like... Does it have any spots here for the grudge? Let's see. I don't see any spots for it. So, yeah, they might not have the grudge in here, but or... When it comes to two, I'm not going to other locations or anything. It's kind of like um, if a store doesn't have it out, it doesn't have it out. Yeah, but it doesn't look like it, though. And then, you know, next week, though, all the um, Star Wars films come to 4K. And I know there's a number of different exclusives of that. Like, there's a big set, too, like a Best Buy exclusive one. But, yeah, 
doesn't look like anything else different though besides 1917. But yeah, like all the cleaner stuff is still gone. I'm still trying to find more Perel and like having like like zero luck with it. It's like impossible. And still like all the towels and everything still now are all still gone. But yeah, I, we ended up ordering some Bath and Body Works ones, those little small ones. So we do have some of those ones. I don't think they're as good as some of the Perel ones, but still it's better than nothing. So at least we were able to order some of those. But yeah. Not much else in here, uh, movie-wise or anything. Yeah, but I only touched things with this one hand. I only picked up one movie. So I'm gonna now, uh, you know, they have a bunch of Perel stations at the end in, in here. So definitely gonna clean my hands now, but you only picked up one thing. And that's what I'm gonna do in the future. Not be picking up much of anything. Just being really careful. Like I said, I'm wearing this so I don't touch my eyes. Just gotta be careful though. It's sort of like, this is what we're gonna have to do. I will hopefully can find more of these masks too. This one is like really old. I had to kind of put it together again because the rubber broke on it. So it was like, I had to figure out how to fix it. But now though, uh, we'll head home quickly to um, take a look on the website though to see what stuff Target has on sale today though. So we'll take a look at Target's weekly ad here. And the only thing new that they're featuring, uh, you know, DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K wise, is a 1917. And that one is a $22.99 for the Blu-ray DVD combo. It doesn't show the price of the 4K, so we'll have to search to see what the price is for that. They're also uh, promoting, you know, Star Wars The Rise of uh, Skywalker, which comes out next week, because they're gonna have an exclusive release of that one. But we'll search 1917 here to see the prices for the DVD and the prices for the 4K edition of that that one uh, so let's see so it says um, oh, so we saw that one that was $22.99 for the Blu-ray DVD combo uh, the 4k there is uh, $27.99 and then it's uh, $17.99 for the uh, DVD of the film well we're now heading over to Best Buy I'm trying to f see how they're doing things like I said they're not open inside so it looks like people are standing outside that work here yeah so see it says curbside pickup sign right there so then it seems like, yeah, so see, they're all outside. The guys that work there in a hat and everything. So that's what they're doing. And they even have it all parked like this so you can't even park. So yeah, they, they, you like can check out outside and stuff. So it's kind of interesting if you, I guess you can tell them what you want and then pay outside and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's um, definitely an interesting way to do it. But it makes sense though, so there's not people in there and that kind of stuff. And, and if you still want like exclusives, like the steelbooks and that, you can do it that way. And I just parked for a minute, and right now, actually, as you come into the parking lot, there's actually another spot where the guy is, too, so, you know, like, directing people. So it's definitely an interesting way, you know, to do it. Like, so like I said, he's right back there, uh, you know, as well at Best Buy. So, like, for the things that are coming up, like the uh, steelbooks, if you guys still want to get them, you still can, and they'll bring it to the car or do the curbside pickup thing. So it's definitely an interesting way. Or you can just have an order to the house. Because right now, Amazon, though, is not shipping uh, anything but, like, essential stuff. I don't know if any DVDs are blu-rays are getting sent but from what i heard they're not there's like it won't be till sometime next month or so when they start like shipping them like i said i may be wrong about that but i have heard a lot of people saying that that amazon is not shipping you know um, movies and that kind of stuff and the only thing they're doing concentrating on is food and like you know essential stuff that kind of things but we'll head home quickly now too to take a look though on the best buy website though to see you know what they have on there for sale today though so now we'll take a look though at Best Buy's website to see their new releases. And if you click though this page, it shows uh, show all new releases. And it will show you too which ones are available in stores since they're doing the store pickup. So they're bringing it out to your car is how it's all going now. But um, the 4K of 1917, which I was saying was the big release this week, uh, that one is uh, $27.99 for that one. Uh, and then it's um, $22.99 for the Blu-ray uh, DVD uh, combo. And then the exclusive Steelbook, which I'm going to be showing at the end of this video, uh, that one is uh, $32.99. And that is a uh, 4K Steelbook. As well as the Grudge. Um, the new Grudge film that one released, and that one's $19.99 there. And then the DVD of 1917 is $17.99, as well as the Elijah Wood movie that he stars in, which I really like that movie a lot, called Come to Daddy. Uh, that one's uh, $14.99. And I believe the last one that's going to be available in stores, uh, new release wise, is um, one called, like a show called Treadstone Season 1. So I don't know anything about that. If you guys have seen that show, let me know how that one was. But like I said, I had never heard of that one. 
But anyway though guys, that's all for this shopping video today. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also leave me comments below letting me know, you know, what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K today, if you know if you guys ended up picking up anything. And like I said, I know I'm doing these videos a little different now. It's like a really different way of doing them and everything. But it's kind of like I'm trying to be safe and I'm like I was saying, I'm trying to, you know, since I do go out and get food and all that kind of stuff for people and I get stuff in the market and all that kind of stuff, I'm trying to do all that stuff on Tuesday now at, at like Target and Walmart so like I'm you know make doing it like that so I'm not going there any more than I need to I'm gonna probably be wearing that mask now just to be safe I don't know I, I feel like I just want to be as safe as I can just to be you know just to just to be as cautious and safe with everything but anyway though guys uh, also though let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of the DVDs Blu-rays and 4ks that I reviewed at the end of this video if you guys have seen any of them or if you guys plan on picking any of them up but anyway though guys thanks again for watching and subscribing and I'll see you guys later now stay tuned for the brand new reviews now before we get to the reviews, we have a closer look here at the 1917 Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook Edition here. Uh, this one here though, this sticker, I just put this on here to show that it's an exclusive. That comes off and everything, that's not on the front. And thanks so much though to uh, you know High Def uh, Ninja for sending over a copy of this one to show you guys a closer look at. But this movie here though, and this is also a 4K Ultra HD Steelbook, which has the 4K, the Blu-ray, and the digital copy. But this movie, I absolutely love this movie. This is directed by Sam Mendes, who also directed American Beauty, uh, Joe head the road to perdition and the thing that was amazing about this movie too was the way that it was um all done in the style to look like it was um one long continuous take which is amazing the way they were disguising the edits in this movie was amazing uh the movie's basically though about these two soldiers who are sent on this mission they were given a letter by their you know uh, the, the head soldier uh, you know the commanding officer who's like to have to basically warn these other soldiers to call off this attack because if they go into this area they'll be outrun and it's basically to save them so they have to get this letter to them in time to in order for the attack to get called off but like it was so well done like the cinematography in here is, am is amazing but here's a closer look though inside here and you have um artwork inside here of the soldiers the um the 4k disc the blu-ray disc we'll take these ones out here as well and you have like a like a scene of him crawling going over this um like uh, lake thing here and then here's a look though at the back but a really really cool uh, steelbook edition and a really cool exclusive you know for the film here but like i said really really love this movie let me know in the comments below though what you guys thought of the film if you guys have gotten to see it and the first one I got here is from Shout Factory Scream Factory line. This is the one that I really wanted to see, and this is presented by Joe Dante, who is the director of, you know, films like Gremlins, uh, Matinee, which, um, you know, Shout Factory released as well. This one here is called uh, Camp Code Brook, and this one stars um, Chad Michael Murray and Daniel Harris, as well as Courtney Gaines. And this is basically, though, about uh, Chad Michael Murray's character, who has like a um, kind of a reality TV kind of show where they go like haunted places, like one of those like ghost hunter kind of shows. And it's him and, along with um, Daniel Harris's character, and they both have this show. And the show has been popular and done really well, but like uh, the current season, uh, the producer of it, played by Courtney Gaines, is like, well, the ratings are starting to go down a little bit. The content isn't that interesting anymore. So this is going to be your last season. We're going to give you like, um, we're just going to end it out now. And then he basically, Michael Murray's character is like, well, listen, oh, well, uh, can you just give us like um, a little chance here? I know we can get something really great. We're going to find a great place to go to and like everything like that. And he's just like, well, what I'll do is I'll give you one special, one, you know, big, like a uh, two hour long finale special. But if the special does really well and you get a lot of attention, people watch it and you do find a great place, I'll, get, I'll let you continue on and I'll give you another season. But we have to see how this one goes. And they end up when they're doing research, they find out about this camp camp where like um all the people were poisoned there by this woman who poisoned the kids there and everybody died. And basically, though, they all go to this camp and they end up, like, paying the sheriff in the town uh, where the camp is to, like, let them go there. And he's all like, oh, I wouldn't recommend if you go there. It's dangerous and, you know, you don't want to mess around with that. And they give him some money and they end up going in. And, of course, so they go into the camp and it's, you know, not a good thing. And, of course, you know, there is something that they're seeing there and they're seeing, like, someone, like, a ghostly something happening. It's kind of 
of like what, what ends up happening to them. I actually really like this movie a lot. Like I always, I pretty much watched like every movie that Daniel Harris has been in, like at least every horror film. And like, I thought she did a really great job in this one. I, I just like the whole concept of this one. And there was actually had some, some decent creepy stuff in it. It kind of like had vibes of stuff like session nine a little bit with like just some like slow burn kind of really just creepy stuff happening on here though. This has a commentary track on here with the director as well as the executive producer, Joe Dante, uh, the writer, as well as uh, Daniel Harris. And this also has a, um, a conversation on here with the writer and director, uh, best of haunt squad blooper reel, which is the, like the show that they're, you know, they're the show that they're filming. And there's like bloopers from that of them in character and stuff like that, as well as a theatrical trailer on this one. The next one here, this is one I was really excited when I heard, you know, heard that, um, shot factory was releasing this one. This is from the scream factory line as well. And this is a uh, monster go home, which is the monster uh, movie. This was a, I believe it was actually a theatrical movie that it happened right after, uh, you know, the show ended, but also on here though, and it includes what's my, which is my favorite of the, um, you know, of the monster movies, monsters movies is, um, the monster's revenge. And it's also, you know, in, um, you know, a 2k scan of the, of that. And that was actually a TV movie. And I'm one of those people who always loves movies that have settings that take place in, uh, you know, a wax museum. So that's why I love, um, kid and plays class act because I love like the scenes in the wax museum. There was like a, uh, and, and things in haunted houses and that kind of stuff. I always really like, and, uh, you know, the, the month, the movie though, monster go home is that what the monster's going to, um, you know, this mansion that they inherit and like, it's kind of what happens there. But revenge, although, like I said, is my favorite. And it's like, they go to a wax museum and in the wax museum, they see characters, the monsters see characters that look just like them there. And it turns out though, that there are these bad guys in the wax museum that are like, they're actually not wax or robots and the robots are going around town stealing things committing crimes doing all kind of stuff and and it kind of gets back to the monsters and they think that they're involved with it and they have to kind of clear their name and it's all kind of stuff happening it's a really really fun movie but what's cool though is on the um monster go home it has a commentary track on there with uh, butch patrick who you know who plays um you know, who plays, uh, you know, Eddie Munster. And, uh, you know, he has a commentary track on there along with uh, Rob Zombie, you know, who is the director and musician and a super fan of the show. So basically, though, he's like, they're talking all about, like, the movie, talking about, like, trivia about the filming the monsters and kind of, like, behind the scenes stuff. It's actually really cool because there's never been, like, anything like that. There was never, as far as I remember, commentaries or anything like that on the episodes of the show on DVD. So I thought that was really cool on here. Also has a still gallery on this one, but, like, a really, really both of these ones look great here on Blu-ray. The next one here is from Disney, and this here is the 4K Ultra HD edition of Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker, which is Star Wars Episode Nine, which now you know is the final part of the whole saga of the films. And I don't want to get into too much about the details if you guys have not seen this one, but basically though, you just know that it's what happened with you know Part Seven, Eight, and Nine. It's kind of you know Part Seven with Ray's character and Finn and everything, and it's kind of them now, kind of the conclusion of what happens and everything. But I honestly really, really like this one a lot. I've actually liked all of the, the new films a lot. Uh, Rogue One I really liked. But what's really cool though about this release is it has this really cool slip cover and it's kind of like raised out a little bit like this. And then underneath though of the slip cover it has a totally different image. So it has like the poster image on it underneath. So it's actually really cool how it's a totally different one. And here look on the back here. But on here though this um, you know I'll, I'll talk about the features as well but I, I um, the picture quality though I want to say too looks amazing on 4k this is one of those ones that's totally like if you guys want something to show like what 4k can do this one looks amazing on 4k it's like and it's also just like the the big thing too when i talk about 4k that you always notice is that you know the hdr which is the contrast levels which is just much more deeper level to the darks and everything and the colors and it's also a much more brighter picture all around that's the one thing i always notice too with 4k is the picture quality is just so much brighter but on here though um like i was saying this has a whole bunch of really cool features that are on the Blu-ray disc, as well as the digital version, has the features as well. But it has on here the Skywalker Legacy, which is a feature-length uh, documentary, with, which is the look of the making of the movie. And it has on there, it talks about the making of the early films as well. So that kind of flashes back to the early films and like talking about how Billy, you know characters who are coming back, like Billy D. Williams. And it's also like some really rare like um, archival footage from the early films. This is really cool to see. So it's like a two-hour-long documentary. It's a really, really well put together documentary. Other, there's also a thing on here with um you know Warwick Davis and his son who plays you know one of the Ewoks and you know he was in the original you know Ewok films and the um you know uh, Return of the Jedi 
And it's basically him and his son doing a cameo on the movie. It's a really fun behind the scenes and has a bunch of really early footage from Return of the Jedi with him when he was a kid playing an Ewok. It's just a really, really well done feature. Like I said, there are some really, really great features on this one. Like, you know, totally, uh, you know, worth it too for features as well on this release. Like I said too, I really like the slipcover, how it's like a totally different image on this one. The next one here is from uh, Paramount, and this is the complete 11th season here of SpongeBob SquarePants, which is, I, I feel like to me, is the last of the Nickelodeon shows that are the classic like um, that has the same kind of feel of the ones that I watched as a kid you know uh, growing up like you know Ren and Stimpy Rugrats you know uh, Rocco's Modern Life you know especially like Rocco I always felt like Spongebob had a feel a similar feel that Rocco did like because it had like um, and it also Ren and Stimpy vibes as well like these kind of like over the top crazy wacky characters and it's basically though if you guys have never watched the show it's basically Spongebob who works with the Krusty Krab and Patrick who's his friend and Squidward who works with the Krusty Krab as well and Squidward is real like negative and against everything and has all sorts of problems and it's just basically them going on adventures and all kind of like um, the wacky kind of problems that they come across and everything like that and like I said this is the complete 11th season I'll show you guys a look though inside here and it also has like an episode guide so it says all the episodes you know the, it's a um, how many discs here is this a three disc set and it has an episode guide which says all the ones that are on here but I watched a bunch of episodes on this one I feel like the show too Still to this day, because it's been on now for, I think it started in 1999, so like um, like to over 20 years now, and it definitely has a similar vibe. It has a similar, same feel that it did in the beginning. And the next one I got here is from Sony, and they actually sent over the book as well that the movie is based on. And it's a movie here called uh, The Song of uh, Names. Like I said, they sent over the book as well. And this is basically, though, this is set during the time, you know, when it, when it opens during the time of the Holocaust. And it's about a boy who ends up, you know, staying with his family because, you know, his family had passed away in the Holocaust because of all the horrible things that had happened there and he basically stays with his family. This kid is a child prodigy. He's like with, with the violin. Like he's amazing at the violin and it's basically though about he becomes friend with, with uh, Tim Roth's character when he's a kid because that's the family that he moves in with. His family. And essentially though what happens though is you know it gets to you know as he grows up he gets to where he's about to have this huge debut of his performance in front of a huge audience and everything but what ends up happening though is he ends up going totally missing. No one knows where he is and it's basically though it cut, cuts to years later Tim Roth's character is still totally like become a, he's like I've always wondered where is he what had happened to him you know he wanted to find him and essentially though something happens where he starts to get like a, like a clue to where he could be and he starts to it kind of opens up the whole thing of what was kind of inside of him wondering where he was all this time it kind of started over again and it's kind of him like obsessively trying to find where he is and everything it was a really really well done uh, character piece here on here though this has a, a feature wise it has Carrot Shore about you know talking about composing uh, the film it also has on here a theatrical trailer uh, behind the song of names a featurette on this one the next one here this one is from a uh, 101 films this is also available in Walmart as well in person if you guys want to get this one in person or of course you can get it anywhere online and this is a movie here like I said from 101 films called Bone Breaker I really like this movie a lot this is basically though about this girl who um, you know watches this um, kind of like fitness YouTube channel and like um, she kind of has her own kind of YouTube stuff as well but she gets invited to go to um, be part of this um, fitness YouTube channel with one of the people that she, this girl that she watches who's really popular has like millions of subscribers and she's like oh really excited like oh I'm going to go out there and I'll be part of her video I'm gonna be like doing like an appearance in it working out with her and they're kind of going out to the middle of the woods in this area that they're gonna be at and, and like the owner of the land is like oh yeah you know but basically though the one girl gets there who's gonna meet up with the popular youtubers to go out with the two and to do this video and she gets there though these girls are kind of like full of themselves and they're like oh yeah we're not waiting you know tell her uh, you know we're starting ahead so they basically start ahead and the, the owner of the land she's like okay I'll go back and tell her where we, where you guys are and, we'll, and she'll meet up with you and find you they're like oh yeah that's fine and basically though uh, this landowner uh, is like nuts and is like kind of planning out to like attack these people and it's basically without saying too much it's basically <laughs> like um, the one uh, who get, gets there late or you know they left her behind gets like injured and she has to like 
find out, you know, kind of protect herself and kind of like figure out how she's going to save these other girls. And it's just like, it's a really, really crazy movie. I absolutely loved the concept of this movie. This one is definitely worth checking out. Like all around, it's just kind of bonkers and crazy what happens in this movie. And the next one I got here is from Gravitas Ventures and it's a movie here called Carrion or Carrion or Carrion. I'm not 100% sure how you say this one right though. This is basically though about this girl who, you know, had gone missing for 10 years. She totally vanished and she comes and, you know, shows up at her cousin's doorstep and the cousin's like, well, where have you been? What, what had happened? Are you all right? What is going on? And you know, because they used to see each other all the time, and then she just totally like up and vanished. You know, no one knew exactly where she was. And when she comes back, though, you know, the, her cousin, though, she came back to see who, like I said, she was gone for a while. You know, where her her house, you know. Basically, though, uh, you know, it's out kind of in the middle of the woods. And essentially, though, it's kind of like, you know, somebody is coming after this girl who's been gone all this time. So it's like somebody out or something out in the woods. And it's kind of has some really creepy kind of atmospheric kind of stuff in this one. And it's got kind of like, um, I, it's got like a witchcraft kind of vibes in there mixed with like vibes of stuff like strangers and that kind of stuff kind of all combined into one. But some really interesting, creepy stuff in this one. The next one here is from BBC Earth. And this is um, Seven. Uh, worlds uh, one planet and this is you know um, the 4k ultra HD edition now this is definitely if you guys want something to really show the potential of 4k this is like ultimate like demo material like for like and it's also like an amazing documentary series like I was watching through a number of these ones you know these um, BBC Earth ones are so well put together and so well filmed it's like kind of like the stuff too where you wonder like how in the world did they get this stuff and these angles and these stuff that you've never seen before from these kind of perspectives of like with these penguins and stuff was I had never seen some of the stuff that they got. And the stuff of these like walruses and the penguins washed up on the shore and these walruses there like um, kind of like causing all sorts of problems. It was like, it was, like, it's amazing the way this is like the, the cinematography on these. But it's basically though, this is all about the contents of, of the world. And it has like, you know, Africa, Antarctica, Asia, Australia, Europe, North America, South America. And it's all, each episode is about like those areas and the animals that are there and like the, you know, um, the, all the different kinds of creatures and like underwater stuff and all this stuff and like I said this amazing cinematography uh, on here though this has the highs and lows of wildlife filmmaking behind the scenes stuff on here photo gallery but like I said if you guys have 4k capacities would definitely recommend the 4k version it looks just amazing it's just like the absolutely amazing picture quality and it's a six disc set the first seat uh, three discs or the 4k uh, you know uh, editions and then the other three discs or the um, the blu-ray editions of the uh, the show the next one here is from Cinedime. This is a movie here called uh, Spy Intervention. And this one has in here, uh, you know, uh, Blake Anderson, uh, you know, who is in Workaholics. And, um, you know, Poppy Delavine, who is in, like... Um, I, I, like the Kingsman, I believe, and a number of other movies as well. This is basically though about a guy who's a spy, and basically though he ends up um, kind of like kind of wanting to leave the spy life. He kind of just wants to totally get out of it. He meets Poppy uh, Delavine's character, and um, they have a relationship and everything. And she doesn't want he doesn't want her to know that he's a spy or what he did. So he kind of like trades all that in for like a normal life. But um, what basically ends up happening though is like Blake Anderson's character, who's a fellow spy with him, uh, like the, all the other spies are like really upset that he left because he was like the top spy. He was like kind of like the James Bond kind of guy. He was like perfect and everything. And they need him to they basically kidnap him again after he's gone and bring him back in and say we need you to do this one last mission for us. We need your help. And it's kind of about him having to go back into the whole thing. And it's interesting too, like when they have the footage of him like doing the spy stuff, it kind of like is filmed to kind of look like almost like get smart kind of like an almost like an old tv show i like i thought that was a kind of a cool concept to this it has on here though behind the scenes with a commentary track on here with the director as well as a music video on this one the next one here this is from uh indican pictures and this is a movie here which uh, stars bill mosley and bill mosley plays a seriously creepy like crazy looking clown in this movie and this is called uh Creptus. and this is basically though about like this um uh you know these two sisters and they're basically like um you know, have like um, like these kind of like X's in their head, and it's kind of like um, it's kind of like, well, what is going on here? And they're like in this really weird, dilapidated, like falling down kind of house with their mother, and the mother is a big mess and everything, the way she's acting and everything. But what in this house though, that like starts to like hearing weird things and seeing weird things, and it's like this weird, creepy killer clown uh, in this house. Like I said, played by Bill Mosley, and Bill Mosley, like I said, looks totally crazy in this, the way he looks, and he's like wearing like this bald cap and this 
this crazy makeup and everything. He's a really, really creepy clown. Like, there's some really, really creepy stuff in this movie here. Like I said, this one here is called a Creptus. Next ones here are these. Both these ones are from Wild Eye Releasing. This is a movie here called uh, Like a Like a Like a, a Mater Like a Mater. Or I, I I can't I don't know how to say this one. I think it's Lichen. A mater, like an amator, and this is um, it was actually a really fun uh, movie. This is like a really quick, easy watch too. It's only about like forty-five minutes long or so. And this is basically though, this um stars Joe Winecoop or Joe D. Winecoop, who's you know the king of the B movies. Joe Winecoop like steals a show in this movie. Like he's great. Like I've, I've been a fan of Joe Winecoop forever. He's in lots and lots of like indie horror movies and stuff like that. But he's like great in this movie. And this is basically though about a group of these friends who are like going for like um, they end up breaking into this like abandoned house like uh, this really dilapidated abandoned house and like in the beginning of this movie you see though in this abandoned house they were doing like these weird type of experiments and they were kind of like creating like creatures and weird sort of things that had happened but when they go into this abandoned house the one guy is like messing around he's like sees like the serum that was there that was like kind of left from where like they were these creatures were created before you know years and years back and basically though he drinks it and he ends up turning into this creature and he starts like slowly changing into this kind of werewolf uh, creature and all the friends are like stuck in there trying to figure out how they're going to survive from this and it's like got some real crazy stuff and Joe Winecoop's character is like in the beginning of the movie warns them not to go and he's kind of like the crazy Ralph character but then he's like coming he's throughout the movie though but this has on here a making of behind the scenes and a short film and a trailer trailers on this one but really fun movie the next one here this is the brand new edition here uh, you know the unrated cut I don't know if it's a different edit of the movie or not I'm not 100% sure but this is a really fun anthology horror film here and this is from the Wild Eyes uh, Raw and Extreme line and this is High 8 Horror Independent 8 and this is all like um has you know shorts on here you know it's got kind of done in the style of things like you know abc's of death and vhs and has shorts on here from directors like um you know uh, todd sheets uh, donald farmer brad sykes uh, chris siever ron bunk uh, marcus cook and it's um you know it's done to be like shot on video style and stuff and then throw back to like 80s and some really fun stuff on here and has on here feature wise uh first ever presented in original uh 4.53 aspect ratio has contact track on here with producers uh, making of high eight trailers, teasers, behind-the-scenes image gallery. So a really great brand-new edition here of the High 8 Anthology horror film. The next one here, this is from the company called um, SMG um, you know, releasing. And this one, I really like this movie here. This is a movie here called Shed. This is basically, though, about... Um, you know, these people, like, um, the friends for this Halloween party going on, and, like, in the beginning of the movie, you see, like, this guy, he's kind of like a, like a, like a big beard, he's kind of like a Santa Claus looking kind of guy, and it's kind of like, how is he fitting at this party, exactly, why is he there, because it's like these younger, like, you know, 27 year olds and stuff like this, and this older guy there, and he was, like, great, and he was, like, doing these amazing, like, dance moves, and he was, like, doing all these, like, real, like, dated dance moves, it was, like, amazing, like, some of this movie, I'm not gonna lie, had, like, this sort of high art kind of vibe to it, with what was happening and it's basically though uh you know they go to this party and um when they get there though uh you know it's there's like some kind of like a weird sort of like a, a creature thing there which is like this skin stealing creature which is like kind of stealing people's skins and wearing it and kind of like taking them over and stuff and there's some amazing sequences of like this um this skin the creature and the, with the skin and stuff but basically the creature was like in the shed where the old man was saying don't go to and of course they go to it and then the creature comes out and it's kind of like a really interesting like movie i really really like this one a lot like i said it had some really cool effects and stuff with these like the skin stuff and all that kind of stuff in it the next one here is one i just want you guys to know is available and this is from uh, film rise and it's a movie here called uh, unintended here like i said this is the special edition release of this one that has a theatrical trailer and photo gallery like i said just want you guys to know this one was available from uh, film rise but this one here uh, i reviewed this one a little while back and this is the the new edition here the special edition of the movie that um was directed by uh, alex wolf this is The Cat and the Moon. This is a movie that he directed and stars in. And this is a really, really great like character piece uh, movie about him going and staying with his father's friend. Because, uh, you know, his... Um, was his father... Yeah, his father was... Um, 
you know, um, you know, his mom is in rehab and he goes and stays with his father's friend while his mom goes to rehab in uh, New York. And, you know, and basically, though, you know, the father's friend is played by Mike Epps. And Mike Epps this is like a really like a serious role for him. And I thought he did a great job in this one playing this really serious, deep role. It's different because, like, you know, always think of Mike Epps doing like comedy movies and things like that. He did a great job in this one. But it's basically, though, you know, Alex Wolf's character, you know, goes and stays there. And it's kind of like all the stuff that he goes through while he's there and going to school there and kind of like finding out more about his father from, you know, uh, Mike Epps character. You know, it, it's basically... Um, um, that's essentially what it is, but it was just so well done, really well directed. Really, really like this one a lot here. This is a, definitely a top recommendation. Definitely check this one out here. And the next one here is one I just want you guys to know is available. This is from uh, Synergetic. It's a movie here called uh, Two Times Two. Like I said, though, just want you guys to know that this one was available here. Uh, the next one here is from uh, Eureka Entertainment. Now, keep in mind, though, this one is Region B Lock. So you guys would have to have an all-region Blu-ray player to play this one. And this is from the Masters of Cinema series, and this is a Fritz Lang film, uh, Cloak and Dagger. Which stars uh, Gary Cooper, uh, you know Gary K Gary Cooper and uh, Lily uh, Palmer, and this one um, on here though this has the um, you know it's presented in 1080p from the high definition transfer. This has a commentary track on here with film critic and writer Alexander Heller Nicholas. It has Spycraft, a, a brand new video essay by David Karens. It has a Cloak and Dagger Lux Radio Theater uh, on there, uh, the radio adaption from 1946 um, on this one, which has Lily Palmer and Ronald Reagan. A Cloak and Dagger radio series on here which is 660 minutes a collector's booklet in here with a new essay by Sam Diamond Dihan in here and I'll show you guys a look though inside as well it has a, you know a booklet in here about the film about the production and all that kind of stuff as well here but like I said just want you guys know this one's available uh, from Eureka Entertainment and the last ones here, these ones you guys can order on uh, Amazon. This one here is a movie that stars Eight the Chosen One called The Heartbreak Killer. And I thought the Eight the Chosen One did a great job in here playing like a couple different roles in here. But it's basically though he's playing this guy who is like really like down his luck. You know, he works at this job and he's kind of like, you know, has one friend at the job and he's kind of talking to him and his friend is like telling him about you have any relationship problem, like you have any chant luck with women or dating and stuff like that. And he's like, oh, not really. And, and he, he's like encouraging him to go out on this date and basically though uh, he's like ha he, he has like all kind of problems with like dates uh, it, it shows one's character and he's like having like you know people are cheating on him and he's not having all of the luck and it's kind of like him starting to like slowly like start to kind of crack up and get like crazier and, and like kind of starts to lose it and everything and he has like um like when he gets kind of like really like um, stressed out he kind of, you hear this kind of ringing noise then it cuts to like him kind of in this weird room talking to like an alternate version of himself kind of like trying to like encourage him to do things and kind of giving him all sorts of grief and all kind of problems and everything on here though this has a rehearsal footage as well as a trailers on this one here and this one here and, and this is from gator blade films this is also from gator blade uh, films as well and this is um, a movie here called a uh, dead residence this is this is a found footage movie basically about this couple who end up you know talking about how yeah, we're going to move into our new house we're going to get this house and and they want to like document the whole thing kind of showing the process of getting it kind of looking at the houses guy kind of like remodeling it and fixing things up and everything and they kind of like I said it's all done from their perspective and also the security camera perspective of the house and essentially though somebody is kind of messing with them and somebody has kind of gone into the house kind of messing around with things moving things around and it's kind of like you know you know it's not going to be a good thing and it's kind of like um it's kind of all about the stuff that they're going through and like the craziness and everything. Like I said, one of you guys know this one's available and you guys can get this one on uh, Amazon. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.